Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Yu, and I'm one of the pediatric general and thoracic surgeons at Children's Hospital of Orange County. Today, I'm gonna to discuss congenital pulmonary airway malformations, or CPAMs. CPAM, uh, which used to be known as CCAM, uh, is a congenital cystic lung lesion. It develops in utero in babies as they're growing in the womb and can sometimes cause serious uh, breathing problems. It's likely a result of a complex interaction between genes and the environment. It's nothing that mother or father has done, and uh, there's nothing that you can do that caused this disease. CPAM sometimes can be diagnosed prenatally. That can be done with an ultrasound, uh, and sometimes additionally with fetal MRI. If it is diagnosed prenatally, it should be followed closely because sometimes these lesions can grow bigger and bigger over time and cause problems. If it is not diagnosed prenatally, then we oftentimes can see it on a chest x-ray postnatally. This can be followed up with either ultrasound or CT scan to confirm the diagnosis. While it's true that the vast majority of babies with CPAM are born with no symptoms, the problem associated with CPAM is that it can become infected and there's also a very rare chance that it could become cancerous later in life. CPAM is treated by surgery. The vast majority of babies will be asymptomatic at birth, and so we can wait to do surgery when, when your baby is about three to six months of age. At that time, the surgery can be either done through the open thoracotomy or the bigger incision, or through minimally invasive techniques such as a thoracoscopic repair. Therefore, your child has every chance of having a happy, healthy life and can participate in all the sports and fun activities that we all enjoy.